What's going on guys? Oh my god. I'm excited to play this. If you haven't watched the last three episodes, Realm of Shadows, Children of Arkham, New World Order, then you are missing out. It is the best game I've played in a very, very long time. And now, if on the last episode, the last... Bleh, English is not my first language, of course. Um, the trailer for episode four, or the technically the ending of episode three, something really, really, like, massive kicks off, and it cuts it, and I'm like, ah, give me more. So in spirit of the uh, episode four, because it is the penultimate, so the one before the last, I am in my Batman pajamas, Batman slippers, I have a Batman case on my phone, and I'm probably going to say Batman quite a lot, because I'm actually really excited. So with that, let's get on. Oh, I was so professional for ages. <laughs> now it should show us a previously on, and then during that time I'll be quiet, so just in case you didn't miss it. Oh, there we go, shut up. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. And let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <clears throat> It's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. That was the uh, twist I was talking about there. Just that last bit there. You helped Vicky Vale. You wouldn't. I did get suspicious of her. I was like, why was she in these places at these times? But like when um, the sergeant shot Fal Falcone in the head, why was she there straight away? Um. Yeah, I forgot about some of the difficult decisions we made. We chose Harvey Dent over Catwoman. Then we beat his ass. You have to face the truth sometime. Yeah. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> oh, I'm beating Oswald up. Arkham Asylum? Get out. Breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Well, for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? So it looks like we've been arrested or put in Arkham Asylum. I'm not entirely sure which one yet. I, I think it's Arkham Asylum. Uh, just because of uh, the children of Arkham. Oh yeah, I forgot we got electrocuted. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. 
Uh, let's put on the jump jumpsuit. Arkham Asylum. Oh, okay. This can't be happening. So we've been put in Arkham Asylum. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can Why tell me here? I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, they're gonna come and beat me up, aren't they? Yep, they're gonna come and beat me up. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing. Whatever. Bring it on, you little shits. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I didn't get a chance to defend myself there. I'm ready for you. Oh, let me defend myself. I got that fucking thing back. Committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the rude, churlish, not nice? How do you like it? You are pathetic. Who who is that? Who's defending me? Who? <laughs> it's Jack Septicai. Oh, it's the Joker. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? so grand more like the opposite I th thank you I appreciate the help is this the first time the meeting if we don't look out for each other who will right what is going on in here it's like I told you doctor these creeps were attacking the new guy well who did that was it you <laughs> of course not it was mostly over by the time I got in but the new guy is tougher than he looks Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah, I'll be nice. I'll be nice to the Joker. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some... Excitement. excitement what they horny for me to happen so fast. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep you safe but I need you to be careful <sighs> us nice guys gotta stick together am I right thank you I appreciate the effort I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened good thing help wasn't far away hey I'm just looking out for the new guy he's I'm so Dr. creepy Joel and deranged I love it way, head of psychiatry I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> He's the Joker. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think
think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Hmm, I wonder if he's become the Joker yet. Our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting. Am I gonna get grabbed by this guy? He seems to be walking quite close to the doors, and I can't seem to turn him left. He's gonna get grabbed. Every day. I can't taste anything. I want to taste. Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. I told you he was going to get grabbed. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leela? <laughs> how could I I can't seem to control him. I could just push forward. How to play checkers. Yes. No. No. You need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. <laughs> uh, I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another take. Good. kind of don't like this. It's quite sinister. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. Oh, there's that big guy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Watch yourself around those two. What, the sock guy and the uh, stitch guy? And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, bro! You've that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. <laughs> All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Did he just put that up his butt? He did just put that up his butt. Um. Let's talk to Billy. Hey, Billy. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Mind knives. Hey, well, he doesn't like to be Victor Zaz. Heard of him. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> he doesn't like to be pestered. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. Victor Zaz. Uh, let's ask him questions. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. Oh, well, he's, that's nice All of you, isn't it? lost souls that I free from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. I, uh, I wanted to ask about John. You, John. What do you want? Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. 
Yeah? And why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Well, yep, sounds like a joker. It's a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. I don't know if I want to show him the key. He might be a bit... No, I'm not going to give the key to you. Fuck off. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there. And I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? I thought, is he not coming out as full, um... Uh, Two-Face. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Okay. And let's talk to the weird guy that Hello. says he doesn't like me. Hello? Go ahead. Arnold. Busy. Oh, how is he talking about his lips? If you bother him, I will gut you. Very close. Reliable sources say that chicken soup has proven to be a good time for sea discovery. What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being. <laughs> He's here voluntarily. He just wants to. Um, would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? He just wants to be here for the banter, for fun, for shits and giggles. Okay. Um, let's talk to St. Louis. <laughs> I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. No, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Same to you, pal. Same to you. Is he fell asleep? Uh, sure. He fell asleep on me, didn't he? Uh, let's look in the chest. Maybe use the key on the chest? Work there. Stop putting it up your butt. Well, we'll look at the chest just in case it's got something on it. Okay. Uh, cabinet, and then we've got this nurses. Maybe the key works on there. Maybe he's giving me something to walk around with. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. Well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Oh, he's rude. I'll beat you up, pal. Uh, we use the key on the cabinet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the key's to get out. Not the right key for this. Can we talk to him about the key? We can. Um. Don't really want to escape just in case they come over and take the key. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> that's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Batman did that. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. Because he's a bit psycho. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double gruesome two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were the friends. We were, and then you saw me banging his missus. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. 
Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of our. Oh, I still got that um, drug in me. These terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Harvey is going way too far. He is going a bit overboard, but he's split personality thing. I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can you? Hmm. Just is like he part of revenge on Cobblepot? Is he uh... publicly and dramatically? Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Maybe he's part of the children of Gotham. Well, that all depends on you. Don't know uh, much good. about his we'll past see. life, do you? I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. Darker? You like Oswald, Batman? I could tell you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. He's a cunt. I mean... He's a willy. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be dead. He deserved it. Everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened because he deserved it. Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? I feel like I need to be friends with Joker right now Especially because he's going to help me. Like you, and then we can kick his ass later. Takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped. Bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. Hmm. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Hmm. Joker's telling me a bit more shit. Leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Yep, as my parents were. Pop, pop. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. Hmm. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. What am I then? If you say Batman, I'll fucking shit a brick. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. Is that why you gave me the key? So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. Uh, I can... Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. What's your price? When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. What's the favor? Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Hmm. But what's one favor between friends? Hmm. I'm gonna be quiet. We will meet again. I promise you that. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise. I'll tell you. 
how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skip those kids itching. Burning! Oh, Need God. To... Need to get rid of it! Stop. Someone's gonna get stabbed. Someone give me a sedative. Someone's gonna get Run, shanked. Run. <laughs> Call security. Oh. Uh, I don't know which one. Um, use Gordon connection. Use lawyers to get out. Um, I don't know which one would make better. Gordon connection. Would Gordon really come and get me? Uh, we'll see what Gordon says. GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. Mm, if so maybe you're I was good. To testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> He's a creepy son of a bitch, but I love it. Oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Well, good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on Ask the Veils, but if they're called Arkham's... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten <laughs> off. Oh, he had his finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. I was not involved! One moment. I was a hostage! Seems you have a visitor. Alfred! Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. I was fucking drugged what woman. With those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. I'll get a second Treatment. opinion. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah, I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Can we stop let's her, go, Alfred? Alfred? Come on, Alfred, let's just shank her. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> Oh, he gives me the shivers. I fucking love it. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. You still Did got traces of the drug in her. Did hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. 
And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any it's better. Batman's turn! Well, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Oh, fuck's sake, Harvey. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But uh, by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Well, it doesn't matter they got a nutter like you. The children of Arkham have gone underground, obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. You leak that shit. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. I should have pulled all my money Can't from him. Keep running around scot free, Bruce. Should have pulled all my money and shit away from him. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. She wanted Every this bat dick. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce! We're done talking. Should we just go kick the shit out of him? He's annoying me now. What's going on here? Roadblock. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Or maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken. Do you have a custody. warrant, bitch? I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Who's this person? Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. <laughs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Um, smart. He's got that what drug is thing. Your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Ah, oh, fucking s people today. They should lock you up. I filmed oh, it. Uh, Alfred, I'm sorry. Oh, he's got that. You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded hmm? and well armed. Hmm. What do you say? Kick the shit out of people. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Ram the barricade, pay off the enforcer. Back up, back up. Hey, we'll pay them. It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Should have rammed the barricade. Mm -hmm. 
maybe take the drug out of you. Take the drug out of you and try and make an antidote. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice. Throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like I'll protect you, babe? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... But babe, why are you doing yeah. this? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth it. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Oh, she just basically said you got a small dick. I, uh, I understand. There's no point being snappy at her. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you going to go? we got some other business I need to take care Can of. Can no one see these twinges? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Selena! Why you go? Whoa, she fucking went quick. See you around. Good luck with all of this. My baby gun done me wrong. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Good boy, man. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's You got a hangover from your drug. Yes, you need a good a uh, like full English breakfast. Drug, Sausage, hash browns, bacon, bacon, beans, egg, all that shit. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. I'm going to do a full cavity search. Uh, examine this, this molecule. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. And then we look at my DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. All right, let's look at yours Seems currently. The then. drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Create antidote, match the drug molecule sequence in a, to the key no. image. I wish that were possible. All right, how do, what it's do I do? Pure. Oh, it's okay. based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for okay, each that's and that every one. person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's that one. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. There we go. Easy peasy. Should do it. Is that an antidote already? Oh, that was fucking quick. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Blech. Ah, I hate fucking. I hate fucking needles. They're so pointy like. Oh, I didn't realize I still had to press stuff. <laughs> Don't stab Alfred now. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky. Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. 
on holiday. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things turned out differently. Been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was a bit vindictive. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. When um, I was thinking about she playing this episode, I did think her. about like she was there at she the police when she uh, when Montoya shot Falcone. She was Bruce, there at the mansion. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station. And I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Joker is a good guy. Defense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Mm -hmm. he told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. You should have like a secret base. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Oh, we're going as Batman. Hell yeah. I'm inside the Vale House. No one here? Honey, I'm home. None of that sort of shit. Just having a sip of my water. Oh shit, someone's dead. Is that a mum? Is that her mum or is that her? No, that's her mum. Oh, fucking hell, it looks like her eyes have been gouged out. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Well, did you not see the blue Whatever veins they knew about it? it? Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Alright, let's search the couch. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. So we link that. Uh, there's nothing to link. Oh, god damn it! I pressed escape. We'll search Mrs. Vale's body. Oh my god! Look at her eyes. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Alfred, you don't see there's it. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Yeah, let's link that to the neck wound. She was obviously stabbed. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Okay, let's have a look at the family photo. Recent family photo? <laughs> Vicky's not in it. <laughs> it shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial <laughs> Vicky house. changed. There's a logo on the building. Okay, is there anything else I can look around for? Blood spatter? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. But Something thrown? Nothing I can see. Um, hmm. Oh, what's that? A hair. Is it Vicky's? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It's Vicky's. It was cut at a downward angle. 
probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Whose is it? But Vicky's? Pantry, there's a knife. Is that what gouged her eyes out? It's clean. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Probably used as a defense haircut. Used as a haircut. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Shit shot, really. <laughs> okay, uh, so we got a pantry. We'll open that in a second. Anything else? For anything else? No, we'll have a look at the pantry. This is probably where the dad is. Yep. Alfred. Th there's Papa. Found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks company like a company logo. logo. Veil something? Veil water? The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Okay. So we'll link that logo to this, the family photo. Because it's the same thing. And then we'll try and link the indentation in the wall. Match. Mr. With Vale the owned belt. an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. So she's going to use the. Um, now Vicky's got it. What was it? Let's look at the photo again. Uh, family photo. Can I not look at it again? Something in oil. Water and oil? Yeah, she could put it in the uh, water. And people could drink it. The the the, the um the shit that I can't remember what it's called now. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? We're about to find out, Alfred. I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered go. the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose, nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. What? That's horrific! She's fucking strong. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred. I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Scan the kitchen. Clear. Nothing here. Oh, please, no spooky dooky stuff. Please, no spooky dooky stuff. I don't want to be jumped out at. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Is it the, the, the child from the photo? Uh, will be reassuring. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Why don't you just ask him? Possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. 
Yeah, it will be nice to him. He's just seen his adopted parents die. Hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. It will be nice because he is a small child at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Do you want to drive the Batmobile? Someone stole my car. Get down. Ah, shit, wasn't pressing buttons. Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Cobble pot. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Gotcha. Kill the kid, please. Thanks, kid. Saved me, I saved you. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> no, don't look at your parents. They're, they're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Thanks, Batman. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. I just saved him back there. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. So what happened here? Go on, say Gordon. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Oh. Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? She's so, gone missing. Who is the boy, then? Uh, just look after him. He lives here. My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Veil Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not me, Moyer. I'm taking over this investigation. Is he going to tell me to do stuff? I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Oh, move, bitch! <laughs> uh. I'm back, baby! That was actually quite gruesome. That crime scene. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. 
Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Is Lucius dead? Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Oh, we have to rotate it. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. Did you not pick up the, um... Look, I can't move it. There we go. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. It's Lucius part of I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God. Someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce. I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. What happened? Oh, what a mess. I bet Slee's cobble. Oh no, I didn't mean to put that one. I asked you to stay at Wayne Tower so you could prevent this very thing. That's what I've been doing. I promise you. I thought it meant to put this is not your fault. Stop him. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say Keep it low, man. Keep it low. As stealthily as possible. Keep it low. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts okay. do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. He's not the biggest on fan the other of hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? He doesn't like either of them. Decisions, decisions. He don't like Batman because he didn't save him. He don't like Bruce because he shagged his missus. Um, I'm just gonna this keep is spamming. Oh, we're going as Bruce, apparently. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. But why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Oh, he's got a split personality thing going Harvey, on again. We need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. What will it cost to make you go away? We are friends. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce. Were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. Is it's he a child of Arkham too? Your debt to Gotham. 
The value of your estate. It could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I've been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. Should we just push him off the building? I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. Boy, you are really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you? Put a dent in crime. Oh, I'm living up to it, all right. I'm about to put a dent in crime so large, it'll change the face of Gotham forever. <laughs> the children of Arkham won't know what hit them. What are you talking about? I don't really like to look at his face, it's quite creepy. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. How quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt. What if they're not even at that place? That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. Gotham will turn against you. Right. Everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, oh, he's been called Two Face now. Turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back, they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. Is he going to try and kill me? What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family. Uh, he's going to try and fight me in a minute. Out of your company. Oh shit! What happened to the photo? There we go. I don't know how much that went. Losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepod will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know how, how far across that was. Um, the recording. I'm <laughs> sorry. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up. I just wait. It. Just keep moving. Oh no! Right by my parents. Why are you Please. doing this? Why are you doing this? Hey, he said shut up. Should have went as Batman, maybe. I know that when you put that uniform on in the morning, you do it because you want to help Gotham. You are better than this. This is not how you help the city. Sometimes, you need to do a little bad. They do a lot of good. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. You gotta see it. What the penguin did to him. He changed him. He's... He's just had to get more firm in the face of the children of Arkham. He's still got the city's best interest They in sound brainwashed to me. Just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But I, if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, um, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Come on. Shut up! You just don't get it. You don't understand. That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Oh, no. go on. He's gonna shoot him and help Stick me up. For Go on. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than this that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to He's about to get shot in the head. He's about to get shot in the head. Officer! 
Drop your weapon. What? You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Denton's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of hmm. blood on his hands. Can't Even you arrest Arkham him? might be neck and neck on body count by this point. You gotta be able to arrest him after this, right? We're doing what we can, Bruce. But there aren't a whole lot of contingency plans for what to do when your mayor starts blowing up the city. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I handed it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Should we tell him we're Batman? Rogan's out for Batman's head as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. I've never felt this frustrated with a system Clean up the in my GCPD, entire think. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. You're about to die. How the fuck do you get? Oh, okay, then I'm Batman. Lucius, what's the situation? I I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. So says Hope then. up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Shit, shit, shit. Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's Don't sake. Your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Right. Do we get to Wayne Manor and help Alfred, or do we get to Wayne Enterprise and lose our gear? Um, without Alfred, we fucked, really. Uh, go to Wayne Manor. I'm going home. Understood. I know it's a bit cheesy doodles, but in the, the trailers for the next one, for this episode, I did see him rock up with guns and a shotgun and shit like that. Might not be the scene, not but... one step further. Oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey. Can no one see this? The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. Oh, we're starting to have the brake crews there. Firewall breach. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. Oh, fuck Alfred, get down. What's in the suitcase, Harvey? Batman! What the hell are you doing here? You've destroyed enough lives for one night. I'm taking you in. Oh, I get it. You'll come to Bruce Wayne's aid when he needs it, but not mine. No, not when I needed it. You let that maniac penguin maim me! Look at me! This happened under your watch! Stop playing victim, you, you can't. the victim here, Dent. Oh. And Bruce is. Ha! Newsflash. I already took care of that rich prick. He's dead. Is he now? If you can't see the good I've done for this city, 
And you're no better than Lady Arkham. Or the Wayans. Oh yeah, go on. Get out of here. Before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. <laughs> God damn this quick time event shit. <laughs> oh, he killed someone then. You're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Oh god, an AA12. You know what those are? Explosive slugs! <laughs> Bet you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. Ah! I thought we were gonna shoot him in the head. Where the fuck is he keeping them? These guys are really weak. Yeah, just try and hide, Batman. Let's see how that works out for you. Oh, you shot around the fucking leg. The bat's mine. Shot around the leg. Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. Selena, Selena, you really use your help. This old man needs to die. Your head? Or your heart. What's that sound? What the? That! No! Take the cover! No! Well, let's get a bat. That was a shot and a half. Oh shit, wrong button. Oh, right in the uh, fucked up place. Wasn't aiming for you, pal. You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham. Ah, let's just too. end his fucking life. Who will stop Lady Arkham? Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. That's... That's good to hear. He's about to do something to... Thank this... God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Oh, that just went from zero to hundred in like two point four seconds. Need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. Send him to Arkham. We'll make him more crazy. Put him in prison. Want to send him to Arkham because he sent me to me. It's too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. No, they yeah. won't. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. No, they won't help him. You stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. We're sending you to Arkham like you sent me, you little bitch. Want to play dirty? I'll play it dirty. Al. Al, what's wrong? Bruce, the computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Why can't you just go and, like, unplug it? Hmm. The good, the bad, and the ugly. 
Oh, we get to see our decisions. Oh, so it's very 50-50. I didn't deny his favor. I just kept quiet. So you and 50% of the players deny Joker a favor in return for the help in prison. Yeah, while in Arkham. Interesting. It was literally 50-50 split. Did you go along with Joker's plan? Yep. Two thirds of us. We like the Joker. How did you get past the Enforcer Barricade? We paid off. It's very 50-50 split, isn't it? It's a very small one. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? Oh, I took the minority of that one. But then I did that as Lucky Dip, really, didn't I? Did you stop Harvey or Oswald? See, I didn't want this to happen because in case Harvey shot Alfred. I couldn't have dealt with that. Would have been too bears emotional, wasn't it? Alright, let's see what's going to happen next time. Oh, okay. Yep, sound. Show me what's going to happen next time. What? There's no next time? That's bullshizzle. I'll look at extras in a second, but this needs to hurry up. Come on, updating content, talking to the server. Well, uh, maybe it's not going to do that. Right, so I want to thank you. Oh, well, well, just as I go to do my... um. Oh, let's read the next one. The battle of control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose and Batman finds himself pushed to limits in a desperate effort to restore order. That's the last one of the series. Let's see if there is a trailer. No. Okay, well, thank you for watching episode four of the Telltale series with Batman. If you liked, click like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to watch the rest of the series from episodes one to three, and of course, episode five when it comes out, the playlist is on the outro card in about three, two, one.